What's up, guys? I got my son Grant with me today. Let's go in Mr. Dad's garage and see what we got popping. This is what we got today, the popcorn box. Watch this video, hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will respond. Let's jump right into this project. I am using the DeWalt jigsaw to trace the semicircles for the top of the popcorn box. To get the semicircles, I trace the bottom of a five gallon bucket. So as you see here, that is what I am tracing. Take your time during this process, no need to rush. We want it as smooth as possible, even if we're going over it with some sandpaper. placing another sheet of wood on top and I am going to use my DeWalt router with a one and a half inch uh, trace router brit to trace over the circles that I already created. Just repeating the process for the front and back of the popcorn box. jig AccuCut with my DeWalt circular saw to create a taper on the box. It is going to be a two and a half inch taper from top to bottom. I am cutting both the front and back at the same time so they are exactly the same. Time for a quick paint um, over in white, just so it's not as hard to paint later on during the project. assembly I added a one inch piece of wood in the corners just so I could have a little more support to shoot the brad nails as well as staples in I use some glue with some clamps and here's Theo uh, he's coming to watch me work uh, he's acting like he's doing something he ain't doing nothing Here we got Theo, aka Sergeant White, wiping off some excess glue. Now I am going over the whole project with my router and a flush trim bent just to 
trim off the excess corners. Here I am using some Bondo for the corners. This is so you do not see any of the rough edges and everything is smooth and consistent. so far please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button below the popcorn box is assembled the corners are all sanded and ready for paint Assembly process is complete. Now it's time to do some painting, which is done in the back of the shop. Now I am using some painter's tape and some painter's paper to mask off the area that I want to be painted red. again and here we are headed to the painting area I have my little helper MJ carrying the tripod thanks dude
masking tape, you have to slowly pull the tape off because you do not want to take some paint with you. Decals Plus in Traders Village, where we are making a custom decal for the popcorn box. decal is complete and now it's time to attach it to the popcorn box. I am using some masking tape to make sure that is perfect where it is and now I'm pulling it off and I'm going to use a squeegee to make sure that it is perfectly applied to the popcorn box. Thank you for hanging out with Mr. Dad's Garage. I'm Mark. Stay tuned for more videos.